Hey guys, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. Today, we're replacing headlights uh, on a Dodge Durango with HID. Um, over time, HID bulbs, high intensity discharge bulbs, weaken over the course of the years. Um, on the last vehicle that we had HIDs, uh, it ran me about $250 for one light bulb. So this time, um, went on Amazon and looked up HID light bulbs for a Dodge Durango and decided to pull the trigger on two HID bulbs for $6.99. So really, what do I got to lose at this point? They're not very bright at night, so if I put $6.99 bulbs in and I get a year out of them, then so be. Um, I can replace them all day long for the life of the vehicle before I spend $230 or $250 for one HID bulb. So, there really, there's no name on this. Um, Supervision, automotive lighting direct upgrade, blah, blah, blah. 6K lighting up to 70%. So. Whatever, we're gonna take them out of the box, um, we're gonna to get to it, and we're gonna see if it makes a difference. So there we go, we got, got it out of the box. That's basically what it looks like. Um, hopefully this vehicle isn't that hard to remove the light bulbs out of the assemblies compared to the last vehicle that we owned. Um, boy, it really made it hard to change out a, a bad light bulb. So. Let's get to it. So it's kind of really hard to see, but we are trying to get back in there to that boot to get to the back side of the HID bulb to remove it. This side's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Um, might have to remove the air box to get to it, so. Here we go. So I don't see any other way to get my hand back here to reach to the back of that light bulb. So I'm removing all these clips and I'm gonna remove this body panel right here. This is crazy. It's a good thing we don't replace light bulbs on a monthly basis because this would drive me nuts. So got all those out. And uh, I'm just gonna start peeling back body panels. All this just change a light bulb. Well, taking and removing this body panel did not help the situation. I gotta get right here. I can't get my hand in there, so I started looking around a little bit more. So, if you come around to the inside wheel well, Ah, oh, they got an, an inspection cover. Looks like you'll be able to twist it out and then get the light bulb off. So, who would have known? Who would have thought? So, well, let me put the body panel, let me put this back together so we don't lose any pieces and parts, and I will attack it in the inner wheel well. Well, I got the bulb fixture out of the holder. Problem is, my hands are too big. To figure out which way the bulb comes out. I don't want to break the new bulb going back in. So well, I'll just keep fighting with it. I thought this was gonna be the easy side. Alright, so I got the little turd out. Boy, they don't make it easy for guys with big hands. So um can't tell if this was original, original Mopar part or not. So, but either way, it's getting replaced. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the new one goes in easier. So I had to take this cover off first. Um, that was the hardest part, trying to get your hands in there around that thing. So that just twists right off. Um, I just tugged on the wiring harness, came right off there. And I would have thought the light bulb would have been locked in somehow. Maybe during that whole scuffle it came off. So, all right, well, let's get the new one in. Cross your fingers. All right, so I took this collar 
this collar was snapped on the old one. This is the old Mopar one. Took the collar off, put it on there. So this piece must go in, lock in in a specific way, and then we'll go back and put that cover on. So, all right, got driver's side out. It's pretty challenging. So now got the, the collar transferred over, and uh, now I'm gonna cuss and scream and try to get this thing back in. And then uh, hopefully we can button this thing up, turn the lights on, see what we're looking at here in the, in the darkness. All right, so finally, after cussing and screaming for the past hour, we finally got this light bulb in. I don't know how these automotive techs can do it in a short amount of time. If I was installing light bulbs in cars, I'd be out of business quick. So, we got them in. Getting ready to turn the car on, and uh, let's just see what we got. That was the flashlight that wasn't. So let me... All right, just a second. All right, let's go ahead and start her up and see what we got. All right, well, the $6 piece of shit light bulbs do not work. Neither side. All that cussing and screaming. You don't work. Well, after installing these lights, Amazon $6.99, they are a fail. They did not work. So we will remove them, package them up, send them back, try a different brand until part two. Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch.